Howdy friends, this is your state representative, Tom Dent. As your trusted friend and neighbor, I am focused on what counts, you, my friends. As a husband and parent, I push for a stronger education and mental health system. As a rancher and pilot, I want to help put a sturdy frame on all our natural resources. I sit on committees for many different topics for a better future for all of us. I am asking for your continued support. Please vote for me, Tom Dent, to continue serving as your state representative. This is Tom Dent, and I approve this message. Wenatchee resident Francisco Garibay just got a new set of wheels, and he's only three years old. Garibay's ride is actually a battery-powered toy vehicle, which was fully customized by a group of advanced engineering students at Wenatchee High School. The little Ford F-150 replica was purchased and retrofitted with grant funding through a national program called Go Baby Go, which helps in the establishment of projects that allow children who have certain disabilities to become more independently mobile. So Francisco has spina bifida, and so he doesn't have any use of his legs below his waist. And I think what's exciting about today is we've seen him already riding in this vehicle, and it's like this is, might be the first time he's ever run away from his mom. And so that's an exciting part of a child's life, is being able to play a game. And just simply when he hasn't been able to do that in the past, he's able to, to do something like this. The schematics of each toy car designed through the Go Baby Go program vary depending on the specific needs of the child they are made for. And the list of garage details for Francisco's truck reads like an aftermarket checklist of special modifications that any hot rodder would be proud to boast about. What we did is we took the, uh, the gas pedal and then we converted that. The, the students took that, took it out, and then they adapted a, uh, a new Go button on the top on the uh, steering wheel so that it's all hand operated. And essentially we build power wheels and then we get specifications from a uh, kid that you know might need uh, physical features to help him. So in this case Francisco's legs don't have fully function so we built a roll cage, made it to where the entire vehicle is hand controlled so he can drive around in them. You make it sound easy was it? Uh, yeah, I would say it was pretty easy. I uh, might need a couple more tools than regular, but it's all right. In addition to the hands-on lessons and applied mechanics that the program has offered, there is a human component within every student, which is also getting thoroughly beta tested as well, one that's proving to make the class even more rewarding. What I think is really neat is the empathy piece, and what happens with that is they have to look at this as students who have some kind of a disability and so it's like how do they have uh, some compassion how do they empathize with them so that they can better make a build for you know a, a car build for these uh, youngsters so what about uh, the most rewarding part of this process obviously this today? right here this yeah. right here tell us about how it feels uh, it feels good sending it home with a new toy that I'll be able to use for a long time and needless to say, Francisco's mom is also feeling pretty blessed as well. Well, I'm really happy with this whole experience. I feel like um, he's really enjoying it, and I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. It just keeps telling him that he can do anything, really, because that little guy wants to do everything, just like everybody else, and nothing stops him. <laughs> and now, there's a lot less that will be stopping Francisco from doing whatever he'd like. Mr. Merrill's classes will be drawing up plans and re-engineering 19 more toy vehicles through the Go Baby Go program over the coming months. Reporting for iFiber One News, I'm Chris Hansen.